are you looking to get into an admission for the second years in Bihar institutions? So you have to crack this state level entrance exam that is BCECE LEA entrance examination. So this lateral entry examination would give you that space of getting an admission for the second years. And if you want to know as to how you have to start your preparation regarding this, your preparation would all begin with understanding the examination pattern as well as the syllabus. Why so? Because this will give you an insight about the subjects as well as the topics which you have to include in your preparation, the kinds of relevant subtopics that you have to include and that will make your preparation much more easier. So with that note, I would welcome you all to Precious Now where you can access all of the information in one space from exams.preciousnow.com and I am going to show you how you can access this convenient information. First, we have to head over to Google and search for BCECE LE syllabus Precious Now. So as you search, you can see the first link itself is from exams.precious now. Give a click on this and this particular page would be opening up for you. Starting off with a basic introduction, then you would be having the insight as to what the examination is actually like. So first we have to understand this examination is conducted for 2 hours 15 minutes. The marking scheme for the examination for each question 4 marks would be awarded for every correct answer and for every wrong answer 1 mark will be deducted. And the examination would be conducted for engineer, engineering courses, paramedical courses, and pharmacy courses. So these are the three different components of the examination. So you have to choose your major according to the specialization that you are actually in. Before we head over to the basic and the in-depth details of the examination pattern, I would like to request you all to join our telegram channel because through our telegram channel you are going to get all of the updated news regarding the entrance exam. Same as it is like how you subscribe to our channel as well. Next, we are heading over to the overview. This examination is conducted by the board from Bihar Combined Entrance Competitive Examination and this is a lateral entry exam. Here you have official website where you can access in case if you want to cross check any of the information which you are going through. So giving you an insight or the details, the examination is conducted offline and the examination pattern is going to be under multiple choice questions and the examination is conducted for 2 hours 15 minutes. Right answer carries 4 marks, wrong answer 1 mark will be cut off and here you have each component or each sectionalized examination pattern. Like for example, let's start with the engineering courses. Now for engineering course, the examination subjects are mathematics, engineering mechanics and English. So for all of this, there would be 50 questions in each of the following carrying 200 marks each. Next for paramedical courses, you have again three subjects which are anatomy and physiology, Pathology, Microbiology and Biochemistry related questions that is section 2 and section 3 you have English. 50 questions again in each of the following. Next you have Pharmacy courses. Now for Pharmacy again they are divided into 3 sections. However, each section would be carrying its subtopics or sub subjects. So you have to make sure that you are including all of them relevantly. Now in Pharmacy courses, Pharmaceutics and Chemistry 1 then you have uh, pharmacology, human anatomy, physiology, clinical pathology, health education and community pharmacy, biochemistry. All of this comes under section 1. Now for section 2 you have pharmaceutics 2, pharmaceutical chemistry 2. Then you have pharmacology and toxicology, pharmaceutical uh, jurisprudence, drugstore and business management, hospital and clinical pharmacy. All of this comes under section 2. Then you have English, a common subject. 50 questions in each of the following, carrying 200 marks each. Now that you have understood the examination pattern, we would go subject wise syllabus. Starting with the engineering course, we would be looking into each of the subjects separately so that you can have a note for yourself. Now for engineering courses, we will be starting with mathematics. 
solid geometry, differential calicus, integral calicus, differential equations, vector calicus, matrices, Fourier series. Next for engineer mechanics, you have to understand the basic concepts apart from all of the introductory details or introductory concepts. The other concepts are vector methods, various systems of forces, friction, kinematics and kinetics of a particle, impulse and momentum, kinetics and kinetics of rigid bodies, work, energy and power. Next for technical English. Uh, apart from understanding words, sentences, structures and the vocabulary, other contexts are grammar and comprehension, business correspondence, elementary spoken English, sentence paragraph writing, report writing, technical description of things and processes, precise writing. Then you have paramedical courses starting with anatomy and physiology. Here again in anatomy you have introduction of bones and muscles, different vital organs and embryology. Then for physiology, introductions and definitions. So every subject, whichever you are picking up, you have to make sure that you are covering out the basics and or the foundational concepts which are in it. Then you have basic knowledge of various systems, special senses, pulse, BP. Then uh, you should understand about the blood pressure, edema, temperature, regulations, then skin. For pathology, you have general pathology, introduction, hematology and clinical pathology. Microbiology, its introduction, bacteriology of water and food, of milk, pasteurization of milk, lab diagnosis, methods of uh, colony count, disposal of biomedical waste, sterilization, culture media, identification of different sorts of uh, bacteria, then microbial world, antibiotic sensitivity and its testing, then morphologic uh, variations, uh, physiology and growth requirements, then you have disposal of laboratory waste, methods of inclusions of cultural media. Next subject we have biochemistry. Apart from the introductions of biochemistry and the generals or the basics of the biochemistry, introductive knowledge of the subjects regarding carbohydrate, protein and lipid, then electrolytes, the liver functions test, kidney functions test, lipid profile, analytical biochemistry. For technical English again, we have already covered the topics. The same topics would be here as well, right? Starting from the vocabulary, grammar or words or sentence structures. You should also understand the usage of the language, which is also considered as spoken English. Apart from this, paragraph writing, comprehension and uh, report writing, understanding the placement of words. So all of this comes under the English language section. Now for pharmacy courses, you have uh, pharmacology, human anatomy, health education and community, then you have pharmaceutical, uh, drugstore and business management, hospital and clinical pharmacy. So all of the sub subjects which I have mentioned earlier in the exam pattern table, the same which are related to the subject point of view is also considered under the syllabi. Then you have English, again English you have the same components or the same criteria of the topics. If you have any other questions or if you have any other queries regarding this, please do place them in the comment section. We would be happy to answer. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Precious Now channel for more informative videos like these. Thank you.